The fire protection system is a three-part process, detection, suppression, and containment. The system detects when a fire exists in the engine compartment and provides the means to suppress the fire by containing and extinguishing it. Your interaction with the fire protection system begins before engine start on every flight. As part of the initialization process, in addition to other pre-flight tasks, you'll perform an electronic test of the fire detection and suppression components. While execution of the initialization process will normally lead you to the system's pre-flight test page on the MFD touchscreen controller, this test may be accomplished at any time by selecting aircraft systems, systems test, and then pressing the pre-flight test icon. Specifically, this test verifies the serviceable state of main fire protection system components and checks operable status of all CAS messages and oral alerts associated with the system. In your vision jet, fire detection begins with a small pneumatic tube, the fire detection loop, which looks like a thin metal wire. This loop is filled with helium gas and is strategically snaked around the engine. As the engine compartment temperature increases, the helium inside the loop expands. Discrete temperature thresholds in excess of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or an average temperature of at least 400 degrees Fahrenheit along the loop, will cause a pressure switch to close. The closing of the switch sends a signal to an avionics interface, relaying a myriad of warnings and alerts notifying fire. you that a fire has fire. been detected. In the cockpit, there's no way you'll miss this issue. You'll receive a CAS engine fire warning message and a voice alert announcing fire, fire. In addition, a fire light will illuminate on the overhead emergency panel. These indications and alerts cannot be silenced and will continue until suppression steps are taken. The avionics system also monitors for low helium pressure in the fire detection loop and will notify you with a cast message if the pressure drops below a predetermined level, rendering the fire detection loop inoperable. This in turn makes the aircraft vulnerable due to a lack of detection capability. An inoperative detection loop is a discrepancy and must be addressed by maintenance prior to the next flight. The fire suppression process begins with a switch, the engine fire acknowledge switch. Upon detection of a possible fire condition, the fire light on the overhead panel will illuminate red and should be considered your primary engine fire indication. To extinguish an engine fire, the fire protection system relies on the chemical extinguishing agent Halon. Of all the agents available, Halon is accepted in aviation as one of the safest and most effective ways to attack the highly flammable environment in which engine fires start and spread. It is designed to chemically interfere with the combustion process and is electrically non-conductive, volatile, and non-corrosive. Halon is stored in two high-rate discharge fire bottles, which when commanded by the pilot are able to discharge directly into the engine nacelle for immediate fire suppression. Bottles are discharged using small, electrically actuated squibs. When directed by the checklist, you will push the engine fire acknowledge switch, which will not only arm these squibs, but will close the fuel shutoff valve and silence the engine fire aural alarm. That silencing is the system's receipt of your acknowledgement of the emergency condition. That switch is a big deal. One squib is attached to each fire bottle, and when armed, the pilot can press a push to discharge button in the cockpit, which will cause that respective squib to fire a charge breaking a diaphragm in the fire bottle and allowing its contents to discharge into the engine nacelle. After a fire bottle has discharged and the bottle has reached a specified low pressure threshold, a fire extinguisher low left or right cast advisory message will confirm that the bottle contents have been emptied successfully. A cast caution message that reads fire extinguisher low left right indicates that both bottles have been discharged. If you were to see these messages at any other time, it would indicate a low pressure state, most likely due to a leak in one or both fire bottles. 
An airplane must be designed so that a fire in the engine compartment cannot readily burn through the engine enclosure and cause additional hazards elsewhere in the aircraft. In your vision jet, this is accomplished using forward and aft firewalls and a titanium shield along with special insulating material below the engine compartment. These materials are all designed to prevent fire from burning through to other parts of the aircraft for a limited time period, allowing enough time for you to manage the fire condition and address the emergency.